Hi, this is Aram from Elichem, and here is Hydroflow. So Hydroflow is a new product in our range. It is a water-based casting compound, two component, liquid and powder, and it's pretty versatile to use to cast into a variety of molds to create homewares and household items that you want to have a concrete effect or a cement-like appearance. For example, plant pots, vases, soap dishes, candle holders, coasters, pretty much anything that you can find a mold for, you can make using Hydroflow. Hydroflow, when it's cured, can be sanded to create a popular terrazzo effect. You can add color pretty easily to Hydroflow using either our resitant range of pigments or any other water-based ink or paint. So in this video, we're going to work with Hydroflow. We're gonna show you exactly what it can do using it in two different projects. For our first project, we're gonna make a planter out of the Hydroflow, similar to this one, except we're gonna switch the colors around. To do that, we've got a mold which we purchased off Amazon and we'll send you the link to the mold within the video comments. We're gonna work with two pigments, the Resitant Flame Orange, and we're gonna work with the Resitant Black. Working with the Hydroflow, the mixing ratio is two and a half to one. So every one part of the fluid, two and a half parts powder. So in this cup, we have 100 milliliters of the fluid, which is the same as 100 grams. And therefore, we have two and a half times that, 250 grams of the powder. Okay, so let's dive right in. First step is to pigment the fluid. So let's just add a few drops in, give it a stir now. Adding the powder. So let's just do two spoons of it for now. Give it a good stir. So that's mixed in quite easily. I'll take another couple of heaps. Try not to mix too fast. You don't want to be thrashing it around and creating too many air bubbles. So just an even speed. Also just use the edge to scrape any remnants of powder that cling to the side of the mixing cup. So it's looking very fluid. I'm not going to Basically, come in with the rest of it and take your time in the mix. Yeah, take two or three minutes or so to ensure that you put all the powder lumps and clumps. Ultimately, the consistency you're looking for is a thick cream, almost like a double cream. It runs nicely. I think we're pretty much nearly there to pour. All right, and it goes cascade over the top and down the sides. I'm just kind of push because we don't want any of it on top here. We want it all the way down the sides. Then we're going to leave that to partly cure for about an hour before we add to the top. So that just self-levels the hydro flow and allows any air bubbles to come out. Right, so second part of our big planter mold. We've left the gray at the bottom to partly dry for around an hour. Now we're coming in with the orange and we're gonna flood coat the whole thing. I'm gonna pour quite a bit of orange in because we really do want a solid opaque color. Okay, time to uh, Introduce the powder into the fluid. Add it gradually as always, so it's manageable and keeps a nice easy fluidity to it. And we can basically go in with whisk now. Okay, so with all the additions of extra powder, we've lost a little bit of our orange depth, so I'm just going to top up the pigment. Right, so this flow rate looks really good. I think we're done. 
and ready to flat coat our mold. Here we go. So the eagle-eyed amongst you will know that that is not completely full yet. And I've done it on purpose. I've made a stronger last little bit so that we have a color variation as a rim at the bottom. So let's use that just to top it up. Tap and slap it just to make it self level and pop the bubbles. Right, so it's all nicely hardened off. Time to demold. It's always a exciting time. You never know what you're going to find when you demold. Okay, let's have a look. Well, looking good so far. Very happy with that. No holes, no gaps, no trapped air. And if you recall, we added a little bit more color to the bottom just to show you that you can add more concentration towards the end of the pour should you want to create that effect. So for our second project, we're going to pour two coasters. This time, we're going to create the terrazzo effect. So first step, our pigment is going to go into the hydrofluid fluid, make it reasonably strong because we want a bold blue colour on the coaster. And I'm really happy with that blue shade. So we can start adding the powder now. When you calculate how much you need, remember with the terrazzo effect, you're going to be adding a solid particle, so that's going to bulk it up more. Right, we're well mixed now, you can see the consistency coming off as a creamy but fluid state. So I'm happy with the mixture now. It's time to add in our white hydroflow particles. And give them a stir around. Okay, time to pour the coaster. Pour it from one side, let it flow in one direction to push the air out as it goes along. Spread it evenly, making sure that our shards get into all the corners. So that's all in. Let's give the mold a bit of a tap, move it around just to free the air bubbles caught and just to level off the surface. Right, that's that one done. Let's finish off the second one. This is when you hope you've got enough material mixed. The calculations were correct on the volume of your mold. Yep, it's pretty spot on. Release the air bubbles and smooth up the surface. So we've got our coaster. And now the moment of truth. Ah, oh, look at that. And we're going to sand this to expose the terrazzo effect. Right, let's start dry. And we can move to... Also, the sanding levels off any imperfections, any slight lip that comes from the mold. Just going to dip it in water, get it slightly wet. So as I'm sanding, I can see the terrazzo pieces peeking through. If you're not a fan of sanding, you can immerse the whole object in vinegar or other acetic acid, and that will eat through the top layer of hydroflow, exposing the terrazzo shards. Right, so I'm going to rinse it in clean water and let it pop uh, in all its glory. all the lather up the corners 
And here we are, the final product. Terrazzo effect using HydroFlow and resitant pigments. If you're using HydroFlow to make an object that's going to go outdoors in the weather or indoors with an object that is going to hold water, then we do have our own sealer, which you can use to make sure that it's watertight and doesn't leak. HydroFlow is environmentally friendly. It's an eco product and fast drying. So it's very user friendly. The product is in stock and on the shelf. Available to order right now at elicam.co.uk.